He once worked in some of London's top hotels and cooked for stars like Elton John and Lionel Richie. Sadly, Timmy Harahan, who the court heard, battled with alcohol, fell on hard times. And in October 2019, he encountered two men who viciously assaulted him. In 2016, I interviewed Timmy Harahan, who had quit drinking, but was desperately trying to find a place in a step-down centre to help him stay sober. I probably have to drink to keep myself surviving on the street, which is back to square one, and I've lost a whole year and a year and a bit of my life again trying to recover. So it just it's a, it seems to be a no-win situation there. Unfortunately, Mr Harahan failed to secure a place and three years later he died after he was attacked and beaten while sleeping rough here at the Mardyke in Cork. The court was told he was set upon by 40-year-old Christopher O'Sullivan and another man, James Brady, who was previously jailed for 11 years. A post-mortem showed Timmy Harahan sustained massive facial and head injuries and died from a cardiac arrest as well as choking on his own blood. Timmy just kind of sailed through life and he tried not to cause offence anywhere like so he was quiet and um, definitely didn't deserve what happened to him. Earlier this year O'Sullivan pleaded guilty to the manslaughter of Mr Harahan. Father of nine Christopher O'Sullivan who the court was told has 48 previous convictions for a string of serious offences was on a cocktail of drink and drugs when he killed Timmy Harahan. O'Sullivan said he understands a man's life has been taken but he's now committed to changing his own life and making a fresh start. Paul Byrne, Virgin Media News Corp.